This video is about stereochemistry and biomolecules. So the key in the question is fissure projection and D3 knee. And the concept of this question is drawing D and L amino acid using fissure projection. So here we have a general formula of an amino acid set up how we normally see it. So let's use an example of aniline. And in place of R, it is CH3. And so how we would draw that in a fissure projection is first we need to determine the group with the highest priority. In this case, it's our functional group, which is the carboxyl group. So we would place that on the very top. And then we won't write carbon um, with a C, but we only represent it with a cross with using lines. So we would have something like this. And in the intersection right here, uh, it represents our carbon. So in a fissure projection, opposite our carboxyl group will always be the R group. And we would have the amine group and the hydrogen on either side. And if the R, if the amino acid happens to be a longer chain, how we always aim to set up is our carbon to be in a vertical line. So here we have the carbon from the carboxyl group, our central carbon, and then our carbon from the R group. And you can see how it's all set up in a vertical line. And so depending on the position of our aiming group or the position of hydrogen group, we can determine whether this is a D or L amino acid. So if we have the amine group to the right and hydrogen to the left, this is a D amino acid or D aniline in this example. And if we were to have the opposite where the hydrogen is on the right and the amine group is on the left, then we would have an L amino acid. And you can see how these two are exact mirror images of each other. So going back to our question, we need to draw a fissure projection of D3 knee. So this is a molecule of 3 knee, and you can find this in the data booklet. So we first need to set up a fissure projection. So we know that we have the carboxyl group on top and then a cross. But since we have another carbon here in the R group, we need to make section. And at the bottom, we have CH3. And remember, we're trying to align all our carbon. So you can see how that works since it's set up. So because it's a D3 mean to our right, we would have the amine group. And opposite that is a hydrogen. And then we just need to complete that by placing our hydroxyl group and our hydrogen. And that is our final answer for this question.